What's up guys? This is the Roferman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Spanish Empire. So to pick up where we left off, we have a force pushing... We pushed and took Baghdad, we've secured it. And we have used that to create uh, peace with the Ottomans, although that's like... A, that's likely to be lasting... Uh, not a lasting peace, sorry. And B, I did kind of mean to... I could have just killed them, to be honest, but I think I'd rather just boot them out. Um, and fight them next time. Uh, we've got armies pushing up through Romania. We've got an army that's going to hold against the Russians here rather than an attack. We've got an army pushing up against Kiev. We've got this force that's notionally a reinforcement army. Um, and this army that's pushing east as well. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it, but it's more about protecting Crimea. But really, I want to take Kiev, maybe the Don, and try and make peace with, uh, with Russia. Hopefully, that would be a good outcome, I think. So then I can focus on expanding in the Americas where we have fought back and destroyed a Cherokee army and we've got a lot of momentum actually we're sieging Rupert's land and we've got a put we've got a good chance to make some really decent money here and again down in the Americas where the pirates are currently um, blockading us we can get this force here and try and knock out the pirates by taking Mont Martinique and also retaking Santo Domingo away from the formerly um, Swedish Empire. But apart from that, I spent all my money, so I can't actually do anything this turn. Mosul is being destroyed, which is great. Universities are at full whack. So let's... Well, how much money are we going to get? 44 grand next turn. It's pretty good. Our trade is just doing incredibly well. We're not yet to the point where our tax income is overriding our all of our expenses, so we are still vulnerable to trade. So that's where I'm kind of still obsessed with um, spending my money in such a way that we earn a maximum tax income out of it. So that means upgrading your towns and roads and ports. Because even though ports might not have a, a good to trade, they will still provide income and growth to your province. And it's that growth that's the really big bit. And we, to be honest, loads of our towns are really... Un loads of our um, regions are actually quite underdeveloped. So a bit of breathing space without major conflict would be perfect. So that's what I'd be looking. To be honest, I might, I might not even take the Don. I might just try and take Kiev and make peace with the Russians so I can shore up my eastern flank. Well, if I can take Kiev and Stockholm, you know, let's not go crazy. If I can take Stockholm and Kiev, that will be quite a significant blow to the Russians and it might actually give us... It might be the sort of um, loss they need to get off our back for a while. So there, there's a potential risk that we will go to war with the Cherokee. Not the Cherokee. The Persians. Sorry, we were looking at the Cherokee. At some point we will have to fight Austria, which will be pretty catastrophic. Because we will be fighting many, many countries um, at that point. So that's kind of why I'm really keen to maximise my income. Ooh, we're defending against the rebels. Nah. Hooray! Not, yeah, I'm not bothered about fighting against smaller rebel armies like that. Got a rake in England. He can stay in England. So you can see loads of stuff we can build. I mean, not so much around Spain, but certainly around Eastern Europe. Um... Port blockaded Grand Bahama. So let's go up to Rupert's Land. Because we can probably... Yeah, we can auto the remaining battle there. So we've taken Rupert's Land. Let's get a basic roads built and leave it at that for now. These troops can replenish. Right. So we need to focus on towns and industry. And roads. And tax bases. To be honest, everything. Money needs to be spent on everything. There's no way out of it. Okay, so we one farm over here. Then into Europe. Probably want to upgrade more. Maybe one in England and one in... Scotland major factories because yeah we've got 
it's way too much stuff to spend money on way too much as well as continuing our engagements so you're going to auto resolve against that cherokee force so rafael rodriguez march towards the uh the louisiana force there diego cordoba now you don't have to stay in the territory you're actually going to march down towards the cherokee so this will be a church school with a weaver's cottage cobble road is about to be unlocked let's get a new governor's residence let's get a new weaver's cottage i am focusing mainly on tax rather than trade at this point so even though i've got lots of fur trappers i could upgrade now i'm actually more bothered about upgrading my industry and my tax base top tier upgrades are always good the sooner you get them the sooner they start paying off two grand which will be to be honest, actually, Geronimo Nadal might be able to demand the surrender of the garrison at Kiev. No. Well, we're going to take the city ourselves. Well, actually, first of all, let's see if... You are within range of Stockholm as well. Oh my god, Stockholm's not even garrisoned. Yoink! There's, no, there's not even any Russian troops in here. Okay, demolish the college. Stockholm will probably come to... I was about to say come to heal, not quite come to heal. I don't want to get a full replenishment off. Sweet, so if we take Kiev, we might actually be able to um, force the Russians to the negotiating table. Then we're not in any major wars in Europe, and we can focus on upgrading our economy to support our massive armed forces. Which are needed, they are needed. All of those armies we've got in Western Europe are needed to defend against the uh, Westphalians, the Württembergs, the Austrians. Look, it's all vi it's all incredibly valuable stuff that we're spending our money on. I've got a cu couple of bugged artillery teams. Let's deploy them up on the high ground to the rear to fire over our heads and into the town. howitzers open up so a marine grenadier and infantry de marina and our grenadiers are going to go through the town the bulk of our infantry is going to go around the right flank We've got another unit of grenadiers that can go through the town and our cavalry that's also bowed can also push Okay, so let's try push up my grenadiers to key locations. You focus on the fire lock arm citizenry, you guys focus on that unit of garrison line. I think the garrison of Kiev will fall pretty quick. Yeah, there it goes there. Dragoon unit. Okay, they're, mo they're they're actually still mobile, so let's push up, keep pushing. While they aren't formed up, let's combine these two grenadiers to secure this gap here. Probably going to engage this unit here in melee combat. Yep, here comes the garrison line. Petuski Regiment of Foot. Looks like they might try and actually defend the town instead. Admirable, but. We are still pushing aggressively up the flank. The garrison line is routed. Okay, right. First of all, our howitzers switch to round shot. New men take the town hall. New 
and push up. Yeah, we did get into combat. So let's push our 7th Grenadier Regiment up the flank. I wanted them to take the town hall, but they did bump into them to get to the town hall. You guys are... Cavalry aren't even going to be needed at this point. You hit the armed citizenry. This unit of grenadiers hit the 2nd Regiment of Foot. Artillery's already inbound. Cease all of the fire, because that's entirely unnecessary. Get these grenadiers into combat as well. Charge into the flank of the firelock armed citizenry. No, they're not going to be here for very long. Yep, there they go as well. So now it's just about... I mean, the cavalry could engage the Cossacks, but what's the point? Well, no, the artillery could engage the Cossacks, I should say. They can engage the... No, they can't. Oh, it doesn't matter. The militia will fall when my, uh, when my uh, army catches up with their fleeing troops. Hello, Cossacks. We're a lot of... We're a massive amount of cavalry. Hello, hidden troops as well. Where are you? What? Garrison line that's formed square? Look at my, my bug general's bodyguard unit. Quite possibly one of the most dangerous cavalry units on the planet, because general bodyguard units, oh, they're not bad, and they've also got hit points. <laughs> Pull the cavalry back. Might just speed up time while this happens. Third regiment of line. Form square. And you know what a square is? Square's really good for fighting against infantry. Oh no, wait. No, it's not. <laughs> As our volleys whip in. Yep, there goes the third regiment of foot. Good. I mean, didn't really expect that to last much longer than that. So those are two major Russian cities taken. For our empire so i think if we go to russia and say chill out and let's trade yeah <laughs> they go for it workers on strike in mesopotamia i mean they don't like us even though they said oh our business is conducted good news so mesopotamia is in baghdad isn't it yep but we've destroyed the university so they're okay so let's build you guys back up into a church school there we go, so now we have an army, a proper army here to take the war to the Ottomans, another army to the south near Baghdad, another army that's going to go maybe here against the Russian front. But right now, Europe is at peace, which is actually quite nice, because it means that you guys can advance up towards the, on the road towards Moscow should the Russians get up to any more shenanigans. We can't repair anything here, nor at Stockholm. And they hate us, but we're going to knock down the college. In Poltava? Oh, that's at Kiev. They like us at Kiev, even with the school. But I don't want a college. I've got two modern universities, fundamentally. Why do I need partly built lower tier schools for? So it's hit at hit and turn. My army's just got to the port in... Um, ooh. If you give us Bulgaria, Trinidad, and Serbia, we'll let you have access. No.
I really need to fortify those board, those and bridges near um, southern France because they will tie up a load of enemy troops. But you can see what I mean. When we did go to war, all these Austrian armies and all of those Württemberg armies and Westphalian armies. Oh my god. Go on, and let's see who joins you. No. <laughs> Oh, God. They didn't join them. Westphalia and Württemberg said no. <laughs> They're not at war with us. We're trading in Württemberg. Imperial honour demands we declare war. Very well. That's the best outcome I could have hoped for, I think. Very well, sir. We shall meet you on the battlefield. They demand access. Military access? No. No military access for you. Looks like they're going for um, Moldavia, Moldova. We've got an army that's in Serbia that's going to go for... Ooh, it... okay. So the army that's currently in um, Ankara, and the, ter the Ankara territory is going to be moved to support offensives in the Balkans. But we're also going to push through um, southern France as well towards Turin. We've got an army in Serbia that's going to launch an offensive towards the enemy. The army that's currently pushing east towards the Moscow road is actually going to go west now and help squeeze Transylvania. <laughs> what a bunch of goons. Oh, Cherokee amassing. Okay, maybe we might go, not defensive, but we'll go steady. Yeah, Württemberg and Westphalia haven't joined them, which I think is hilarious. Because they were mostly why be what, what I was worried about, getting engaged by stacks and stacks of poor quality units while we end up getting engulfed by... Uh, engulfed by high, higher quality units. Ah, oh, they raided my port and stopped me from building my sloop. Oh well. So, the March of War. We've got a rake in Sweden. So first things first, let's repair all these buildings in Sweden. The army doesn't need replenishing. We can repair the buildings we broke. And let's recruit a sloop here. I mean, I could just build galleys for everyone because galleys are cheaper, but build a church school. Let's get you to work your way towards Berlin. I mean... So, where's the best place to push? You're pretty not so great. I was about to say poor, but... Okay, let's. this army can be expanded. Get some conquistadors, get a regiment of horse. You've got too much infantry, but until you get your artillery up. I don't like how many turns that says it's going to take. I don't know if that was there on the foot artillery as well. Crew another conquistador. Yeah, the howitzers will take a long... No, wait. 32 pounders? Awful lot of turns. Okay, so you have to go for... Heavy horse guard artillery is not so bad, but you are, it means you are defensive for a while. That's okay. We don't really have a good navy in the med. I mean, we'll pro we can prevent them from transferring troops. Which isn't bad. Let's upgrade one Iron Master's works. But then this army, get your ass over to Sinop. Sinop, Sinop. Let's take this sloop over to Sinop. You men get into the port. Disembark. You men push up to threaten Klausenberg. You men continue to replenish and stand. Because the Russia didn't join them either. Let's repair these buildings in Kiev. So 
So this army here can head west. You're going to push and take Klausenberg. Württemberg did not join the enemy. So let's take this general over to Belgrade. Actually, get him over to about here. All these men can march up and join Mr. Roig. Then you can actually start to build up a proper army. So let's get some artillery. Don't want any more fusiliers. Get two engineers, but you probably just meet just need regular troops. So it'll take a bit of time. Let's get this army up to scratch. But get it up to scratch we shall. I want them to push this army, because I can hit them by the river. You don't quite get the coverage I'd like, but let's expand the Rome garrison. So our income is down eh, 45,000. I'm not actually trading with them. We're getting 20 grand out of Russia from trade. That's pretty awesome. So in the Americas, you... you're not there yet. You might actually hold on the defensive side. Let's run a unit into the port to kick them out. Repair the port. Upgrade you to a craft workshop. Let's recruit a militia unit to occupy the port. And I've got a cool seven grand. So this army that's down, that's here, currently not doing a lot, can also join the push in Italy. Or do I send them to push somewhere like Berlin? We haven't got visibility on Berlin. But you men get to Calais. So you need another unit of field art. Oh no, two's okay. But you definitely want some cavalry. So you definitely want... Okay, right. You're getting... St stuff is being recruited for you in Paris. So let's use London for this. So you need three howitzers, really, and a heavy cavalry. And you can... No, I can't get heavy cavalry in London yet. Let's get... Curacier. Still one turn. Then let's recruit a sixth rate, because then this force can sh sail to hit um, Berlin. And they're on their way, so I might actually try. Ooh, okay, this is a good idea. Arturo Cruz. I can't attack that scholar just to get him to move. Take the bridge. So there is a force behind him that might cause us some issues. Horse artillery line infantry. Christoph Schaefer. Now nah, we can deal with you. So you're going to hold ground. Let's spend this extra cash on things that'll earn us some money. Dover we've already upgraded. Tron time, get a craft workshop. Norway. Let's get metal roads in Sweden or an abundant yield iron mines. Quite a good flat upgrade. Everything's being replenished. I need these armies here in case they threaten to join the battle. So Felix... Don't push, but advance. Try and see if we can lure them into the attack. Might actually spend a bit of money in Rome. Belgrade's... Wait, are you... is that all of the stuff you're getting? Everything except the engineers that are coming from back here. Yeah, Matthias, push. Klausenberg. That's quite a good set of results. The next turn we'll get some more research 
We'll have some more research available. Sweet. Um, Baghdad. I mean, whatever cash we've got goes into trying to keep them chill. Slash replenish our army because we might get attacked by Persia. Which would be a bummer. Okay, let's hit enter. So let's see what they've got. Ooh, if I could get you in a river battle near Venice, that would be sweet. Although they are definitely not abandoning northern Italy, but they are realizing that it is to the east they want to go. But you know, the Spanish war machine is on the way. Hopefully you're pulling troops out of Berlin. To be honest, I might even recruit a new garrison at Stockholm and immediately just land more troops on the northern shore of Europe. Oh, you might have access through Württemberg land. Right, 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 I see. But still, Turin is ripe for the grabbing, as is Milan. Yeah, you can raid. We've got troops recruited for that. You're sieging us, but we can counter-attack and disrupt the siege and annihilate your forces. Ooh. This could get a bit dicey. That's pretty cool. I mean, if Russia joined the action now, that would be chaotic and confusing, considering that they declined to join the Austrians in their war. I expect the Austrians aren't too happy with the Westphalians and the Württembergs because they broke their treaty with them. Okay. Yep, that's the Russian fleet on the go. That lone Spanish ship we've got raiding won't do much good. Sending their agents over to us to try and steal our technology like the scoundrels they are. Good, Persia's marching their army. Oh, actually, they are picking. They're going to invade someone. Is that someone going to be me? Yes, called it. <laughs> oh, okay, right. Classic Persia. That's just just what they do. As soon as you have a border with them, they hate you, and that's it. Westphalia did finally join them. Okay, this is it, fellas. A Württemberg going to join them? If they do, I've got an army that can go straight for Strasbourg. So it might not be the best decision for them to make. The US has declared war on us as well. Holy moly. Yeah, you better get to Annapolis because that force of Philadelphia is coming for you. Pirates are massing. We got, well, we've got plenty of battles this turn, I can tell you that. Right. So, let's not spend any of our cash for now. 17,000. <laughs> Trade with Russia's been cut. Not by us. New town emerges. Suez. Let's get a craft workshop because it's cheap. You are not in range to hit that army to free the siege, but you can get close. You can get close to pushing the Austrians here. 
you can also push up towards Belgrade. The stuff at Istanbul can march to join them. You guys just join up. Just join up. So they might be pushing... Yeah, they're going to go around us and to hit Belgrade. Okay, so I think my best option is to go on the offensive against so many of these enemies, like the so Stockholm. The frustrating thing is these guys probably won't like me leaving the city. Only minus four, but I need the tax. So you need to spend a turn recruiting some cheap militia while I upgrade this pleasure garden. But apart from that, I can't do anything. You could auto... I don't want to auto... So you're going to march up to here to blockade them. You guys are going to advance. Ooh, that's a lot of Austrian dudes. You're going to push forward and hit Nice. Because that'll be at least a quick win. Santo Reyes. The stuff that's being recruited, just keep pushing it up to the right part of the world. Right. Okay. So you can push up the pass. Although, yeah, I was about to say. I was, gonna, I was thinking, oh, no, 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 no. Because I'm like, don't intercept those guys. Get back. That's really... This is really not good. I think our best bet is to fight them in the east here. Um, at the very least, you guys can get your... Guns. So let's get this sloop over to Calais, so you men can pick up your artillery and cavalry, and our agent, this rake, can embark. But what I want to do, which I can't really do because Austria's got ships in port here, I've got, I do know, I can, I can blockade. I can blockade Rostock. I wanted to try and do a bit of a scout of what northern Europe looks like. Because right now, Berlin is undefended. Berlin is undefended. Gdansk is undefended. Königsberg is undefended. And they have fortifications. So we can dig in there and try and attract enemy focus to try and attack us there. That's quite interesting to know. But the first thing we need to do is hit back. So Kiro, Kiro de Lorena hit Karl von Baden-Baden and, and his absolute poor quality army. It's mostly cheap cavalry and militia. I'd love it if you attacked me, to be honest, because that would be fantastic, but we're going to sally and destroy this Austrian army because, my god, this is crazy dangerous. What we're doing... Well, what's happened is fighting a war against the entire world on 17-ish grand budget. Some armies are going to get disband <laughs> um, disbanded. The army that's advancing into the um, Black Hills, for example, he's going to get on a boat and sail back to England. So they're over there in the inside of the... Well, not inside anything, but... Right. So we've got to do this carefully. Try not to lose too many men. Oh my god, they've just, they've just deployed as a giant block of cavalry.
So that's that regiment of provincial cavalry gone. These carabiner are likely to skirmish us. We get our regiment of horse up on the flank to back that up. All this provincial cavalry though is is going to charge us. Got my line cavalry that's going to go on the flank. I mean the carabiners, yeah, they might actually try fight us, but fundamentally they've got too much, too much cavalry. All our squares have to do is hold, and they'll they're done for. out and lined up. Yeah, you broke. My line cavalry just engaging. No, don't fire that way. I'm going to fire into my own line. You guys are upset. Quick lime's coming in. Target the militia with my howitzers. The carabiner are getting hit. But the enemy... The enemy, the enemy cavalry attacks have fallen. Form line. Run a regiment of horse up to attack the provincial cavalry. Push our infantry up. I mean, they're provincial cavalry as well, but attack that unit there. Get this infantry back out into line. Because now we've started the conventional... Whoa, what have I, who have I picked? You, you guys, no. There we go. Line cavalry, whoa! I must have had them selected when I got over here as well. This artillery hit carabiner they're shattered hit the carabiner you guys start to pivot their line a little bit the old artillery hit them I noticed one of my units started to waver there You guys can hopefully knock out that infantry unit, or that cavalry unit there, although you are down. Let's try and knock back this carabiner unit. That means you guys can charge up the hill. Cease the artillery fire. You men push up. You guys aren't done yet, but you're tying down too many men. I'm happy with my line cavalry. Just keep peppering away the foot guards. Good stuff. So who's that? Militia and militia. Yeah. These guys should knock out the carabiner. Just open up into them. You men should knock out these militia pretty successfully. Push up, push up. Get my regiment of horse up. Yeah, my line cavalry still doing okay to the flank of the foot guard unit. Drop into square because the general's bodyguard's coming in to try kill you. You guys chase down the militia, switch my artillery to round shot and get them to attack that regiment of militia that's dug in in the distance. So you guys get out of square. Let 
push up and surround these guys. Yeah, just chase down and hack at the militia. Good stuff. Militia are falling back here. I mean, they're on a slight high ground here. Commit my line cavalry and my general to chase down the militia. Stop the artillery from firing. Get the infantry to redeploy against the guardsmen. So you men attack that unit. You guys attack that unit. Continue to kill the militia. General's bodyguard still still holding on. Yeah, keep keep killing them. Kill as many of them as you can. It's the name of the game. Make it so as few enemy troops get back to their back to their army as possible. I mean, those engineers are going to go down pretty awfully quick because they're firing in column. Go on, you guys, just brush my square. The guardsmen are firing into the flank of this unit of militia. Gotta watch out for the stakes as well, because the... See, we're actually getting... starting to get non-Darth um, Mod sounds get into the mix. So if you guys could knock out... militia, you guys pivot. How did you die? Oh, the stakes went through into the grass. Oh well. Sad face. Enemy general's bodyguard has been repulsed. Newman advance. Generals are not quite so critical at the moment, I think, not compared to the average man on the average man in the army. They are a means to the end, to an end. Okay. Yeah, you guys failed to really kill those men there. They yeah, lost a few more cavalry stakes because I figured my generals, my generals, taken enough of them out himself, personally. If I can kill this engineer unit, I'll be happy. Which it doesn't look like... Well, we might do. Yes, we might do. We just might. There we go. So now it's just my horseman up here that's been chasing around these militia for an awfully long time. But failed to do a massive amount of damage to... There we go. Yep, bit dodgy. Our reinforcing army that was just for reinforcing is now going to be an army. So you men, recruit a general, replenish. You men push up. Yeah, we've got a couple of armies back here we need to knock out. You're looking incredibly vulnerable there, so you might not stay there. 
You instead hold this bridge. Let these guys grow in strength. You guys push and try and squash these guys in the east. These troops in Austria, my god. But I'd hope they might start suffering from some sort of economic upset. So ports are blockaded. Obviously we've done a load of building, but we can't act on it. What we can do is take one of these ships out of port. We can embark these men aboard ship. Sail them to hit the Windward Islands. Probably auto that. We've technically won the campaign, but the campaign isn't over. Let's replenish the governor's building. Let's replenish, rebuild the governor's building. Re rebuild the port. Alfonso, replenish. Get you guys back in port. Then we probably need to take this force here at Philadelphia. Well, first of all, so we don't... F oh no, sorry, I'm thinking of the wrong um, campaign. Let's see if you can demand the surrender of Michigan Territory. They're not going to let you, but you're going to currently siege it. Let's see if I can make peace with the Cherokee. Uh, yes. Because I'm not overly bothered about attacking the Cherokee. You guys need to get to a port and get home quick. I know I'm, ex I'm leaving this area a bit exposed, but yeah, doesn't really matter. So you men are going to, well... Marching men down to Annapolis. Hopefully I bring in these reinforcements. I don't bring in these, but it looks like I bring in the garrison of men in Williamsburg. And there's a Pulaski's Legion Lance a Pulaski's Legion Lance Cavalry. It's our first fight against the United States. So it's either we take the fight to them or they take the fight to us. So I choose the latter. Because the fight in Europe is going to be awfully, awfully dodgy and things could go quite badly wrong. If I have to give up terrain... <laughs> if, they are, if they're too powerful, I will have to give up um, some land to them and then slowly build up my strength again. So my guns are going to be on this slope of the hill. Engaging the bulk of their forces. The howitzers are going to be up front. Well, sort of up front. Our infantry are going to be advancing. But we have. They've got a lot of cavalry, but we've got a significant amount of pikemen and heavy cavalry. There's both friendly and enemy reinforcements on the go. But we don't really care about any of them. I don't need reinforcements. And I'm not bothered about enemy reinforcements. Ah, first Lance of the Pulaski's Legion is up on the on the flank. Oh, charging, no less. Charge, my conquistador! So my chats with carbines actually did enough damage to warrant a one of the units to rout completely. Charge the enemy's line, charge my pikes to push the right flank. Same with my 
with my um, uh, with my other cavalry. You guys charge that general's bodyguard unit. You guys hop out of square, pivot the line, quick climb, focus on these chaps here. The enemy general's been killed. Conquistador can charge into the regiment of foot. General's bodyguard get up here ready to fight the enemy irregulars. The heavy cavalry is on a real number on the enemy reinforcements. There's more native bowmen auxiliary advancing. He's been firing, firing, um... Okay, you're right, you guys get... Get my pikes behind the line. Get these guys to push up, like so. Get my conquistador to safety. My general's bodyguard have shattered that enemy unit, so fall back. So that general's bodyguard got annihilated on the charge as they came in. My guys just blasted them with carbines. Quick climb's doing heroic work. Push out my line. Get these conquistadors back in action. You men drop into square. My my um, pikes charge Pulaski's legion, which is going to hit the square. General's bodyguard get involved. Start to chase down the enemy legions. Pulaski's Legion is down to seven cavalrymen, and that will likely reduce as well. Quick climb. Ceasefire. Conquistadors hit the General's bodyguard. My General's bodyguard hit the enemy line. You men advance. My pikes push into the enemy infantry there. Charge my hussars up. We'll charge my conquistadors up. My hussars can join the, the chaos back here. My pikes have smashed into that unit of Hessian line. Okay, the enemy army is coming in. So this line, realistically, I need to pivot. Pivot and advance. Cavalry fall back. Pikemen fall back. Charge the rangers. My Asas charge this unit of rangers because they're down to nine men. So the first American attack against the Spanish Empire is a significant defeat. Aha, the last two rangers are here and there. Okay, take them out. Just gotta watch out, because the native bowman auxiliary might hit my... Uh, colonial light cavalry hit, have hit my hussars? Conquistadors. Silly, silly fools. My conquistador are making it on their making their way towards the enemy bowman auxiliary. I want to try and kill this unit of rangers first. Then they can charge the bowman auxiliary. You guys keep charging the Hessian line. You guys try charge that Hessian line. Conquistadors charge the native musketman auxiliary. Push up aggressively into the face of the native bowmen. New men cease fire. Let the cavalry do the talk in here. So 
to let the Hussars charge the colonial line infantry because they've recovered. Here come some US volunteers. Some brave US volunteers looking to try and... Oh, the musket men actually routed into my line. Beautiful. Chase down the garrison colonial line infantry. Just destroy the native Bowman auxiliary. There we go. We, even, we actually stopped using our artillery. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Bring you guys in to try and chase down the volunteer regiment. You guys... I mean, yeah, when they route, they would, they're they always going to disappear immediately. So you men... Cease fire. I might bring my general's bodyguard, actually, to back here to chase down these three native bow auxiliary. See, the carbines and the conquistadors did some really good damage there to units that I weren't even aware were charging me. So that's something something good to to bear in mind in future. So you're chasing down this unit. The general's bodyguard is trying to chase down the last two bowmen. But again, it's a question of pathing because they really don't want to try and deal with it. But sometimes, weirdly, allocating more infantry or more units to a task makes it makes the pathfinding bearable. There we go. So now that's we've taken their main well we've taken their city right on our border and we've destroyed its garrison. So if we repair the government building, will they take a peace deal? No. Unfortunately not. Um to be honest, I might take these men. But you're on your way. To be honest, you guys can auto these guys. I don't want them running behind my lines and doing stuff to my capital. So we might lose Annapolis, which we've just taken, but that's okay. The main goal was to destroy their army. These guys, if they want to try and push us, they can. And then Rafael Rodriguez is I'm actually going to auto that because most of their army is knackered. We only lost 300 men doing it. Good. Um, so what I'm probably going to do is if I jump over to Europe. Well, yeah. So things are pretty bad. <laughs> I probably well, I need to withstand a few attacks from the Westphalians first to knock them back, so I can begin my counteroffensive. Stockholm, I am building my garrison up. Unless I get no, you guys are still too far away. Um. But yeah, this the Austrian war has kicked off, and it's it's pretty it's pretty bad. But I'm going to end the episode here because we're, it's a pretty clean clean section to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I will see you next time. The continuation of this mess. Cheers, everyone.